So what is this beast of a thing, you may ask? This is a spice grinder. Well, technically it's a multifunction grinder, but it's intended to grind things very, very fine. As you can see, this will go up to about a 300 mesh, which is quite small. It's probably not something you want to use for coffee, but, you know, here do you. It's also got a 1500 watt motor. That's why I call it the spouse grinder. Uh, one of the fun things, look at how this lid comes off. Reminds me of an industrial pressure pot. This thing seals tight. All right, let's have a look at the blades. Well, they're pretty beefy. The long one with the curved blades is quite sharp, while the other two are for agitating whatever stuff you have in there so it'll all get ground. Just for a test, let's see what happens if I turn it on with the lid off. Ah, it has a safety interlock and it won't turn on if the cover isn't tightened down. That's a very good thing. It also has a swivel mount, so when you're done grinding, you can dump it directly into a bowl or container. So, uh, let's grind something, shall we? Black peppercorn. I know, I know, I already have a manual pepper grinder, but I do like finely ground pepper once in a while, too. The instructions say to fill the cup about two-thirds full, so we'll start there. Put the lid on, seal it down. Tighten down the swivel. And turn it on. It's got a timer switch that'll run up to five minutes. That's the longest you should run the motor before letting it cool down. I don't know that I would use this for five minutes at a time. We'll see. Now I've given it a couple of minutes to settle because I am expecting that there will be air float pepper and I would rather not be breathing in fine pepper powder. Oh, look at that. The inside of the lid is coated with a very fine pepper powder. The inside of the cup is a little coarser, but most of it is still smaller than most of the fine ground pepper you can buy in a store. I know it looks a little like sand, but it's way smaller. Most of it comes out pretty easily, but this does come with a little chip brush to help get most of the other stuff out. I've also tried this with some rock-hard brown sugar that I had left over, and it pulverized it into a powder quite handily. So I have powdered light brown sugar now. It's actually kind of nice. All right. There will be more later, I'm sure, as I get to use this and get to know it a little bit better. Uh, I'm probably going to use it for uh, dried peppers uh, once we get into the harvest again next year. But for now, toodles.